My name is Shabnam Weber and I'm the president of the Tea and Herbal Association of Canada. And if you know anything about me, you know how super fussy I am about how I make my tea. And I just got my brand new Viva Recharge Travel Mug. Um, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to actually get my very own mug personalized, so I cannot lose this. And secondly, to show you how amazing and easy this is to use. So I'm obviously going to start with tea because that is my first and true love. So remember, when you first get your own mug, you've got an amazing lid here that you are going to be able to snap open and keep nice and tight, which means that when you're drinking it, it's not going to drip all over you. And you know what I'm talking about because it happens to me with every mug I have ever, ever, ever used. So with this, click back and you've got absolutely no drip happening whatsoever. Second, you're going to need to be able to open this up and keep it tight open in order to open up your actual travel mug itself. Because of the tight seal that it's got, it will not drip in your bag, ladies. You've got this tight seal, which means that you need to be able to click this open in order to open it up. So you can see that this is not like any travel mug you've ever used before. We've got two chambers here, and it's so simple to use. So let me start by making a really simple black tea. What I'm gonna do is I am going to take about two and a half teaspoons but use whatever strength that you like. Remember that this is about 500 milliliters, so about two of your regular cups. So I've got a tablespoon here. I'm gonna do about a heaping tablespoon. I like my teas medium to strong. And then we've got two lines inside of here. There's a bottom line and a top line. And I'm gonna start by making a hot tea for you today because that's how I like to start my day. And I'm gonna pour the water, boiled water, up to that second marker inside of this carafe. Now I can let it steep just like this, which I'm gonna to prefer to do because one of my biggest pet peeves is taking my travel mug in my car and it's too hot to drink. But if you like it's super hot, then you can just plunge this in about halfway and just let it sit. For a black tea, you're gonna let that sit about three to five minutes depending on how strong you like it. Once that time has passed, you're just gonna push this down to the bottom, screw closed, close your lid, and off you go. Nothing spilling out. Now I know what you're asking because this was always my concern with tea travel mugs. What happens to the leaves? Well, those leaves are still sitting at the bottom and the amazing thing about this mug is that the fine filter at the bottom has vacuum chambered all of those leaves down once I've plunged it down. That means that the steep or the strength of this tea is not going to get any stronger. I could truly leave this sitting here for the next four hours and it'll taste the exact same as it does right now. So for the hot days of summer, nothing better than a nice iced tea. And I'm gonna make it for you using this exact same mug. Now open up your lid, click back, pull out your inner chamber from your outer chamber, and I'm gonna make a green tea. Um, this one is a flavored green tea, I think with a little bit of cherry. Um, I love my iced teas with a little bit of extra flavor. It's totally up to you what you use. Now, I'm definitely going to use more tea than I would if I were making a hot tea, just because we're going to be diluting this with some ice. So I want some nice, strong flavors. So let's put in about four tablespoons. And I'm going to pour my hot water. This time, I'm going to pour to the bottom line. There are two lines inside of your container. One is for hot tea, one is for cold. We're just gonna pour to the bottom because we've got all that ice that we're gonna put in at the end. Now, you can leave this to sit just like this and let it get nice and strong. Or, if you like, you can put your chamber and just let that steep for a while. Now again, because I want a nice strong infusion, I'm gonna let this steep longer than I would hot tea. 
Normally for a green tea, one to three minutes is recommended, but for a cold tea, I'm gonna double that. And again, because I want that strong flavor to not be gone when I dilute it with the ice that I'm about to put in. So wait your six minutes. If you like to sweeten it, do it when it's hot because you're going to be able to integrate the sugar in nicely. Plunge on down and nice and closed. I'm gonna take off my top because I want an open chamber. And I'm gonna fill this up now with ice. Nice and full. And we're gonna close this really tightly. Make sure that you've got it closed and the lid snapped shut and shake. Make sure it's clipped back. Delicious. Iced, simple, and ready to go. So yes, the tea lady does drink coffee as well. And I actually love a really quick cup of coffee first thing in the morning. And yes, I'm going to do it in the exact same amazing mug that I've got here. So first things first, remember to open up your lid completely, otherwise you're not going to be able to get this open. Believe me, I've done that a couple of times. I'm gonna pull out the inner chamber. And for coffee, we use more than we use for tea. So um, I would say about a heaping tablespoon is what is good, depending on really how you make your coffee. 17 grams is generally what you need for you coffee geeks out there. And I'm going to pour boiled water into the chamber here. And remember that your bottom marker is for cold and your top marker is for hot. That applies the exact same for tea as it does for your coffee. So your second line is for your hot coffee. And again, I don't like my coffee to be too hot when I'm on the go, so I'm fine just leaving it like this and letting it sit for a little bit to get nice and infused. Alternatively, you can just put the chamber gently on and let it sit for a few minutes. Now remember that when you start to plunge this down, coffee is much denser than tea leaves are. So you're gonna get a little bit more resistance as you push down, so do it gently and be patient. It only takes a couple of seconds. So I'm going to really carefully, and I find twisting it really helps with the resistance. Nice tight close, close your lid, and you are set to go. So now I'm going to make for you a really simple iced coffee, again, using the exact same mug. This mug is going to become your go-to for absolutely everything. So once again, remember to open up your lid completely, or the opening rather. I'm going to pull out the two chambers, and I'm going to use, again, a little bit more coffee. So a generous heaping, a tablespoon. And that bottom line is for all of your cold beverages, coffee or tea. I'm just gonna pour up to that line and I'm just gonna let this sit. Just let it infuse and get nice and strong. Once I'm ready to go, Remember what I said to you when you made your hot coffee is that you're going to get resistance. There we go. Nice and tight. I'm now going to fill up the upper chamber with my ice cubes. Remember that if you want to sweeten your coffee. Doing it hot is the best time to do it at. So I would put my sweetener in, or my milk even, 
at this stage before I added in my ice cubes. Twist the lid close, nice and tight. Close up. Make sure this is nice and tight because you really don't want this to splash all over you. And shake. And that's how quickly and easily you're going to make yourself a cup of iced coffee.